Hey everyone, thanks for joining today's session about uh, Windows on ARM App Showcase. Uh, my name is Fani Krishna Maringanti. I am a senior product manager here at Microsoft. Uh, I work on a team called App Assure. Briefly looking at our agenda today, we are going to quickly talk about uh, App Assure, what the program is all about, and then we are going to look at the latest announcements that came at the Snapdragon Summit. We are going to also look at benefits of using Windows on ARM devices, why customers are adopting uh, ARM devices at scale. We are also going to look at Windows on ARM journey, where we have started and where we are now. Next, we are going to talk about App Readiness Framework, and we are going to spend a lot of time talking about uh, ARM App Showcase, a list of all the applications that are now fully optimized to run on ARM. We are going to briefly talk about all the app development tools that are available for developers to take advantage of. And we are going to finish off the session by talking about ARM Advisory Services, which is a really cool offering that our team very recently announced. Quick introduction about App Assure. Uh, Windows is built with compatibility in mind and ensuring OS is compatible by design. App Assure was launched in 2018 to provide confidence to customers that uh, their applications would work on latest versions of our software. And if not, App Assure will be able to help them fix those issues at no additional cost. At this time, we support Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft 365 apps, Microsoft Edge, Azure Virtual Desktop, and Windows 365 Cloud PC. If customer runs into app compat issues when adopting any of these products, App Assure helps them fix those issues at no additional cost. Microsoft engineers work with customers to troubleshoot these issues and provide solutions to fix them. If you identify a product bug, we have a direct line of escalation into product engineering teams to fix these bugs as a priority. Customers can request our support by either submitting request assistance in Microsoft Fast Track portal or by just sending an email to achelp at microsoft.com. As we call out in the agenda, today's session we are going to talk about Windows on ARM and the momentum in the Windows app ecosystem. I want to start off by saying that Qualcomm hosted an amazing annual event called Snapdragon Summit in October, where they unveiled many innovative technologies, including announcement of Snapdragon X Elite platform for Windows, which has created a lot of excitement in the tech community. X Elite platform is built for running complex generative AI models locally while possessing market-leading performance and incredible battery life. As Qualcomm called out, Xelite platform provides OEMs abilities to create devices across different form factors while getting market-leading power performance, whether you are using a 2-in-1, an ultra-portable, all the way up to laptops with large displays. Windows PCs powered by Snapdragon Xelite are expected from all leading OEMs starting May 2024. This slide highlights some amazing benefits of Snapdragon Compute Platform, which enables thin, light, and fanless laptops that are always on, always connected, and provide cellular capability. These devices are going to deliver best-in-class performance along with unbelievable battery life, have advanced audio and camera capabilities with highly secure, robust connectivity. These devices have very powerful NPU that deliver generative AI capabilities while freeing up CPU and GPU to run application tasks. Microsoft believes uh, silicon diversity is very key for providing amazing experience to all our users. Windows has been heavily investing on ARM for many years and adding new features with every release since RS3. Some of the significant initial milestones were adding 32-bit emulation in RS3 along with ARM Native Edge and the launch of uh, Surface Pro X SQ1 in 2019. Windows 11 release in 2021 was a pivotal moment for Windows and ARM journey with the introduction of amazing features like 64-bit emulation, ARM 64EC and ARM 64X. 64-bit emulation opened up the possibility to run a wider set of unmodified 64-bit x86-based applications on ARM devices. ARM64EC allows developers to incrementally transition 
existing x64 apps to take advantage of native speed and performance. The next milestone was last year's Microsoft Build event when lots of developer tools became ARM native. Visual Studio team announced native Visual Studio along with the availability of all the developer toolchain and frameworks. Native Visual Studio along with the Windows Dev Kit 2023 which is a compact device purpose built for developers enables developers to build, debug and test applications natively on ARM devices. Azure also added ability to create uh, ARM64 VMs using Ampere Ultra offering and this provided a scale option for developers to run QA and uh, CICD infrastructure on the cloud. Windows Studio FX on Surface Pro 9 5G marked the beginning of NPU driven AI experiences and provided amazing video conferencing capabilities. Next year 2024 is going to be a very exciting year for Windows Anna with supercharged X Elite based devices hitting the shelves and enabling some amazing on device AI experiences. Next we are going to look at application compatibility strategy for Windows Anna. Emulation is a key element to our app compat strategy for Windows on ARM and Windows has invested a lot in improving emulation performance with each Windows release. While most apps work fine under emulation, some apps need to be ported as ARM native due to their dependency on kernel drivers or due to performance considerations. Due to these reasons, we have developed a three-pronged approach when it comes to app compat strategy for ARM. First is to ensure that all inbox apps and our first-party apps provide ARM native user experience. Second is to work with app devs to drive native ports for apps that are in critical categories like security, VPN, accessibility, and video conferencing, which typically have kernel drivers. Third is to improve emulation efficiency with each Windows release and to ensure that breadth of the applications run well under emulation. This slide showcases the breadth of applications that are optimized to run on ARM devices and in most cases, the, they run fully native and take advantage of power and efficiency that the ARM devices offer. Microsoft is leading the way by porting all our first party applications including marquee applications like Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft 365 apps like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, OneNote, and OneDrive. Commercial applications like Intune, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, and most recently, Endpoint Data Loss Prevention do support ARM devices. Along with these applications, we made sure that all the inbox applications, including Notepad, Paint, and Xbox run natively. The next category is creativity and productivity apps where Adobe has a bigger portfolio of applications in this category and they have been bringing applications one after the other as ARM native. Starting off with Photoshop, Lightroom and Fresco and Adobe Reader supported under emulation. Zoom is a popular video conferencing application and it runs natively on ARM and takes advantage of some built-in capabilities like Windows Studio FX. Dropbox is a crucial cloud storage provider and they very recently released Windows and ARM support in their preview channel. Other creativity applications like PixArt, Sketchbook, and Paint.net support ARM devices. IT management and benchmarking is very crucial for our uh, commercial customers. Citrix, Workspace, Carbonite, Beyond Trust, Ivanti Endpoint, Forescout, Tanium, and VMware Workspace One allow management of ARM devices. When it comes to benchmarking, CyberArk, 3DMark, Cinebench, Nextthink, and Geekbench are the applications that support ARM devices. Security and VPN is another category that is very crucial for our commercial customers. And I'm very glad to tell you that all the market leading security and VPN products do support ARM devices at this time. Some of them include Bitdefender, Broadcom Symantec, CrowdStrike, VMware Carbon Black, NetWitness, Panda Security, McAfee, ESET, Sophos, and Cisco Umbrella. When it comes to VPN, Cisco AnyConnect, Palo Alto Global Protect, Zscaler, Pulse Secure, and FI support ARM devices. Printing and accessibility is another key category for our users. While most of the printers work fine with the inbox drivers, 
HP, HP, Xerox and Konica ported their existing universal print drivers as ARM native. In accessibility, JAWS, TextHelp and Gotit are some of the accessibility apps that support ARM devices. Entertainment, web and social is another important category for ARM devices. Media streaming applications like Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu and Disney Plus run natively along with Spotify. Brave Browser and Mozilla Firefox along with Microsoft Edge are the browsers that run natively on ARM devices. When it comes to social, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter as well as TikTok run natively on ARM devices. Our team is also working with many other application vendors to bring the ARM native applications and you would continue to see more logos getting added to this slide in the coming months. When it comes to ARM development tools, all major frameworks, IDEs and utilities support ARM64 development. Visual Studio, VS Code, .NET, Java, OpenJDK, all of them support native ARM development. When it comes to middleware and open source components, Python, NuGet, Flutter, GCC, Unity Engine, all support native ARM development. When it comes to hardware and QA infrastructure, Windows DevKit 2023 is the most popular option. Windows DevKit 2023 is a purpose-built device that enables developers to build, test and debug applications locally on ARM devices. Azure provides option for creating a scale QA and CI/CD infrastructure. There are devices from Lenovo, Surface and Dell which enables developers a option to test their applications on a full-blown Windows laptops. Apache has been working with more than 200 developers to build ARM optimized applications and we recently announced a new service called ARM advisory services intended to drive developer readiness for building apps for ARM. We consolidated learnings from helping ISPs into a technical workshop and developers would also have an opportunity to leverage our engineering expertise for making right architectural decisions in their applications. Our engineers would also be able to do code reviews and provide code samples to enable a specific use case. We also offer break fix assistance if issues arise as part of building applications for ARM. Our service is currently available only in English and in US work hours and we are planning to expand it to other regions very soon. Please use the link on the screen to sign up for ARM advisory services. I'm closing out today's session by encouraging all of you to pilot ARM devices and leverage Azure for any app dev and testing needs. And as part of this process, if you run into any issues or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to App Azure and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you for attending today's session and wishing you great learning experience at Technical Takeoff.